good fail. evening, good day, good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to another exciting, it's our 88th podcast. Are you sure? I feel like you've been saying that for like no, a while. No, 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 no. Don't even. No. <laughs> You're You're sorry. Been, we've just been trapped in the eights for a while. Oh, Look at okay, that. Okay. Okay. Look, okay. I'm good with numbers. I'm good with numbers. Just letting you know. And welcome to our 88th <laughs> podcast. And we're so happy and excited. And. I know we're still trying to work on the sound effect. I am disappointed. Let me start off on a bad note with my real fans because the real fans have not reached out and helped us. They help us with everything else, but nobody can help <laughs> us figure out the sound. So the responsibility is on you people. Let's get it together. But before I go any further, <laughs> I'm going to introduce my hostess with the most says, but first I'm gonna first introduce the reverse order. It's going to be like salute the only mother of our podcast. Though on this podcast, she's not the mother hand. <laughs> she <laughs> Andrea's the possibility. She gives us a lie. <laughs> the only real mother who never forgets to let us know that I'm the only one here who's birthed a child and I'm the only one mother <laughs> hand. So, I mean, and the the key question I need to know, did you send the child through your vagina or did you get that child cut out? The child went through my vagina. Oh my god! I had a baby for no. real. No, <laughs> the imagery, the imagery. <laughs> yes, I did. Wow, Janina, bow down, bow down. I know, right? <laughs> Don't worry, I had plenty of Look. drugs. I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> As you should, as you should have. <laughs> okay, I'm not even getting into that that motherly discussion. Like, who's much more mother than any other one? But the Kato yeah. Kalen of podcast, the actual mother in real life, Janina Kato Kalen from Farin, Ohio. What's going Hello. on? Oh my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> I felt like she's at a soccer match. <laughs> you know, that would be appropriate for the past week I've had. I felt like I have a oh, soccer match. Great. Game. <laughs> okay, and oh, last but not least, we have the mother hen of the podcast. She keeps this in line all the time, except when she's drinking a lot, and we got to rein her in. It's <laughs> Andrean from Soli Tennis Travel, and she's been drinking this week. So, ah, and slightly traveling, but not for tennis, but just to see my mama. Just to see my mama. Yeah. Okay. You got to okay. stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even stop it. It's not if I can just wait. I don't even know. And of course, <laughs> last but me, you know, reels the homosexual the podcast. Ladies, so it's madness Ooh. in Madrid and Madrid. I know for the Rafa fad, it was muy caliente, but for me, it was just muy me. But <laughs> let's talk about in Madrid. this tournament. And we're on to the real barometer of barometer for the French Open. It's Rome, okay? Because it likes to be 100 here. And but, went- you know what? But let us... I'm, I, I'm going to come real honest mm-hmm. and say that I think Rafa has done an amazing thing. I, I have to give it to Rafa. He has slayed all of his challengers. You and mean his mental um, dragons? Challenge. No, you mean the scrubs? I mean, TV, right? Oh my God, he's played the people in front of him. Okay, that's yes, all he yes. can do. That's, that's, all that's he can true. Do. That is true. It's okay. true, right? And you know yeah, what? Listen, true. seeing how basic Rafa was for a while, to see him come back roaring and winning these titles, um, in the fashion that he's won them, in ter- in the sense that you know, remember when Rafa was trying to serve out sets? serve out matches and he couldn't do it getting broken yeah i mean he's not doing that anymore um is his tennis at the peak that it was um when he was ruling the world i can't quite tell but no it's not not, i don't know but he's winning and so all good on him all good on him for wrapping up what three clay titles yeah Mm -hmm. it's pretty damn amazing pretty damn amazing for him so you know and for his fans i hey. will give you all the props in the world i you know i all, everyone knows i dislike rafa intensely um <laughs> <laughs> confession is good for the show <laughs> so, um I, while janina really? I, couldn't tell. I couldn't tell <laughs> rafa's not my fave hasn't been in a long time actually you know what's so funny Has he ever? Full confession, I used to like Rafa. I actually used to have a Rafa t-shirt. 
that's how much I like. <sighs> not really, but I had a Rafa t-shirt. I bet, I, I, I bet, I bet it's a, a, it's a dust rag right about now. Is it? It's a Honest dust rag to goodness, right now. there was a match. There was a match I was at live when Rafa was playing Sangha and I was cheering for Rafa. That's tell me that it's it's crazy it's crazy and it, and it was that I one know, time you I did coke, believe right? you. that one time you tried cool that was it it was that one time you tried cool, right? <laughs> I, I don't believe that. this at all like isn't that, I know. Isn't that crazy someone slipped it you, was, a, someone slipped it's you and make wild. me a drink did you? it's Spend wild it. it's wild i used to be a rafa uh -oh. fan not, mm -hmm. not a full mm -hmm. fan but i i was okay with rafa mm -hmm. i know and I cheered ladies, him let this be a lesson to you, ladies out there. Watch your drink at all times, okay? <laughs> you men too. Yeah. Watch your drink. Don't leave your drinks unattended. Because shit like this might happen to you. Andre. You too might follow Rafa. No, but <laughs> uh, but so I'm gonna give him full props. You know what? You know what? You come out and blazes, guns blazes, blazing, and do your thing. But I will say, for all the people who thought that Federer was part of a weak era, you got to give it to that generation. Whew. They will hold on <laughs> till the cows come home. They are not <laughs> letting. They're not letting the floor. They're not letting go of the floor. They refuse to. I mean, I think I, I, I think I, um, I tweeted. I sent you ladies. Well, I sent us mm -hmm. the statistics for the master series. Yeah, and it's just basically it's a barn. I mean, and if this were if this happened on the WTA, people would have lost <laughs> their shit. I know. People would have lost their shit. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I well, think the tour is, I mean, the tour is yeah, the, the big four. Five, and for and for five. this and only and only in this instant would I use would I allow the word big four to be acceptable. Because <laughs> you know I don't believe that such a thing exists. But according to the ATP media info, the mm -hmm. big four, the big three plus Murray has oh. won 24 of the last 25 ATP Masters 1000 That's series. Sick. That's 96%. That's also, 37 of 40 since 2013. That's sick. 75 of 85 since 2008. And 96 of 112 since 2005. So, that is saying since 2005, which is in 17 years, basically, in roughly 17 <laughs> years, right? That the <laughs> ATP Murray Raja. Um, Djokovic and Murray has won all the Masters Series title except for and 16. Rafa. Yeah, that's insane. And Rafa, deeper down, 16. <sighs> Only 16 <sighs> times in the last 17 years did someone not name Murray, Federer, Djokovic, and deeper down won a Master Series one title. So let me, um, you gotta give, you tell gotta give, me, I mean, look at that. let me hear <laughs> somebody drag the WTA one more time. <laughs> let me hear some bullshit stat. I, I mean, I, I'm not here for this fuckery. Y'all need to who stop can it. name all who can name those 16 players though? I don't think I can. Thank you. Thank you, Sweet Brown. Thank you, Sweet Brown. Thank you, Sweet Brown. Thank you, Sweet Brown. Great. I did that. And you know what's so you crazy? And you know what's about. crazy, right? I do not believe you might be right. It means statistic, it, it might not be actually 16 players. It might not it, be. It, mm -mm. It, it, I think it's roughly is 16 players. Because I don't think anyone <laughs> has won more than two. One a year. And every no, once in a while, folks just get one two Masters Series title. Who's not any of these four players? I can't think of it's, anybody. Uh, really. Yeah, I mean, I think you got Burdich in there. Burdich has won <laughs> one in two thousand five. Lubitsch. Does Stan have any? No, yeah, Stan. Stan won oh, one. Oh, Andy Roddick may have been. Andy Roddick may have been that person. Andy, Andy, year. Andy for sure, because I think Andy won. Um, I think in, Andy won Indian Wells once. I think if I'm not. No, he mistaken. won Miami Might for not. sure. Does, uh, he won Miami for sure once because he beat. Oh, and um, um he may have won know, Cincinnati too. The tubby Argentinian. Well, tubby Argentinian. Not bad, Dan. For sure, does I Delpo think one have more. anything? No, Delpo does not no? have one. He doesn't have a master. Nope. No, no, oh, and um, Davidenko, nope. Davidenko, Davidenko won the Master Series. Yeah, Davidenko, I think in Shanghai. I think one year. Yep. I mean, yeah. it's actually like not Sangha. <laughs> yes. Um, Ferrer. <laughs> Ferrer mm. won that one that year. He was so grateful. In he was. Like, thank I think in his thank, I think in his thank you speech, Ferrer actually thanked the Big Four for not showing up. <laughs> oh my God. Did you know that? <laughs> Tommy Robredo oh, wants something? Oh, my. Tommy Robredo has one. I read it somewhere and I was like, uh, what? Um, 
Yes, <laughs> and that's true. He does. Ah, that's amazing, guys. This is hilarious. Um, and, and I'm done. I, I can't think of anybody else, really. Hmm. Malfi's? Mm-hmm. Did, did Malfi's win ever win Paris? No, I don't think so. No, I, think I don't think Saga. so. We got to the finals, Saga. I think. Yeah, that year Saga that he beat Fed, I think. Tonga won Paris? Tonga won a Oh, you know who won? Who won? Didn't um, Soderling win? Did Soderling not win in that final against Mikhail, um, Mikhail Lodra? I think so. That year, that that oh court was pa- when yeah. Paris was really, really fast. Remember that year, and all the players <laughs> <were> playing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, um, court imagine that. that. <laughs> could, you ma- could you imagine that being on the WT? The WT would have been played in backyard circuit. They wouldn't get no money. People be like, "This is fuckery. Ain't nobody trying to shout for this shit. It's all right. rigged." It's, it's a good thing those people... four guys are so dynamic and so charming and interesting. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, then. right. But anyway, let's get before we go. Um, let's just pick up. You know, I'm gonna do the scrub, the scrub watch. You know, I'm scrub always alert. scrub watch, scrub mm-hmm. alert. Yes, and let please. me just say in Aix en Provence, one of my favorite words mm-hmm. to say ever. Just to put it out there, <laughs> um, our little. You know, we keep a watch on the black folks here at Real Tennis Podcast. Just keeping it real, black we and brown and yellow. Black and brown and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Yellow, black, and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> um, there we Francis Tiafou <laughs> pulled out mm-hmm. a win over Jeremy Shadi. First of all, I don't know the fuck Jeremy Shadi. I'm challenger, but you know what? French people try to make some money wherever you can and make some You're coins. Right. They show up everywhere. And they go to any little outside tournament. <laughs> as long as it's well, I mean, like, they didn't know. I mean, I mean, come on cool. now. Who's gonna be cheering for Jeremy Shadi <laughs> anyway outside of France? Who? I do. Who checks uh, Jeremy? But- <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, five people in this town might be checking for him in Cincinnati when you're there and you bring your drunk friends with you. <laughs> but ain't no way else is the whole stadium going to be shouting and cheering for you. Okay. So I so see that are. TFO is now up legitimately up to number 70 in the world. That's yes. really fucking fabulous. And he's doing the hard work. He's doing the hard work. Donald Brown, yes, Donald Young, right whatever way. Fuck your name is. Donald Young, we're yep. watching you, boo boo. <laughs> see what you need to do. See what you need to do, Donald oh Young. Is TFO right. our number one black? Is TFO our number one black on the men's side? Is this a new category? <laughs> that's, a, that's a new category uh, I'm adding. Okay. <laughs> Reels just revealed that we're oh. checking all the black folks. Well, we can't. Okay. Gotta, we, we got, we oh my God, we got to have color. black rankings. We've got to have <laughs> black rankings. <laughs> well, TFO has the power ranking this week. No doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe no. Dustin Brown. Right, Dustin Brown's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Only Janina here be checking for Dustin Brown. Dustin Brown tried to come for me on Twitter once, okay? And I ain't trying to be a part of Dustin Brown. That's why I got No. I, I feel bad for Dustin Brown. All that talent. Mm, yeah, I'm sure he doesn't stop him from He don't know to sell his sex appeal, but you know what, Dustin? <laughs> I gotta help you, but you tried to play yourself on Twitter with me one time, and that one time, so no, not gonna be happening. But I'm here I'm all here for helping our dream, feeling that shit's gonna happen at Milan. So I'm just letting you know. I think so. I know. I think hey, so. I'm here he's, for he's it. He's definitely playing well. He's and, this is really, and it was on clay. Yeah, it good, was on clay. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Really dusty clay too. And he looks like he's working out. Him. Looks like he's working out. Yep. Looks and he could have taken it in straight sets too. Good deal. But you know, he messed up on that one break point. But he was playing really well. So you know, we all got to watch it. But then you know, ATP Challenger Info then tried to show us. Oh, there's a stand innovation, but decided not to show us the stand innovation, showing us some fucking graphic. What about here on Chang? He, I think he, he didn't he go back home to oh, Korea. Oh, he crashed out. He crashed out really early in. You know what? Because um, he shouldn't have taken that long flight so, back. Should have stayed. Exactly. He should have stayed, stayed in Europe, See, dude. Janina, I'll be checking for Chang <laughs> more than just his body. Okay, I'll be checking on his match results too. Um. <laughs> Is that oh funeral God. music, Janina? Why are we having a Negro spiritual? Why are we having a Negro spiritual in the middle of the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's have to get it off the men. Uh, <laughs> let us um, continue with the men. Sure. And let's just talk about, you know, um, let's just talk about that match. Let's just talk about that one match, which we mm-hmm. all know we need to talk about. All right, let's let's go. Girls, ladies. Mm. <laughs> um, that was that was a felony crime. I'm just gonna put it out there. <laughs> 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 
Did anyone check Noble's ass I to mean, see if the paddle marks were off of it? Oh, a paddle mark, girl. He <laughs> needs stitches. He needs stitches. <laughs> but you know what? You know, I, I had a friend DM me and said this. Times are desperate when Nole cannot get it up for Diva Doll. Yep. And I was yeah. like, you're right. You're right. I was like, I don't know what to say. I was like, you're right. You're right. I mean, if there's one thing we know, it's that Nole gets hard whenever he sees a Fed or Rafa across from him. He's like, I got I to gotta take him down. He could barely attend to that match. Barely. He was trying. <laughs> like, he I was mean, trying. Well, moments, but I feel like he was trying to get that energy going. It Whew. was not working. I like to be 100 here. Let's be 100 here. Diva that was looking at like how Serena looks at Maria and be like, bitch, mm. you know what? Today, fuck it. You get no games today. That was almost a big of full set. Let's be 100 here. That was yeah. generosity. That's a patron really saying, came down and be like, Rafa, girl, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> this is the number two player in the world. Girl, no. Spare ATP. Rafa saved ATP. ATP, write an extra check to Diva Dow right this weekend, okay? Diva Dow saved your sport because had that been a bagel, that would have, that would, that wouldn't be cute. That wouldn't have been cute. Y'all number one can barely get it up to even do anything anyway since he's being crowned number one. Let's be 100 about that. Murray ain't doing Ooh. shit this year. Not Ooh. a motherfucking thing. We're going to have to talk Take about that after. We're going to talk about that. that after. But yeah, let's talk about the beatdown that was. Whew. And your number two player who is in, in the danger of losing his number two status to Stanley, who hasn't done shit either. All year. Has Stan got past the fourth <laughs> round of anything? Like, I'm All you know is Stan's <laughs> playing like shit. He ain't doing nothing. And you know what that means. And he's supposed to be number two player in the world. But here's the thing. That means Listen, come that's time how for Roland Garros. Top- I know. You better watch out. <laughs> that's, how they, watch watch out. Guys, that's how basic the top five is right now on the ATP side. Aside from Rafa and Fed. Like, everybody else is just... Like, I was thinking about it. I was like, wait a minute. Has Stan stuck around more than a few nights at any of these tournaments? They are there by default. <laughs> let me tell you Let me tell you how bad Stan is him. doing. I think <laughs> Donna Vekic has won more matches than Stan. Oh, shit. And I'm counting, and I'm counting quality matches because you know I, Donna don't even stick around in main draw. Donna you is the quality, quality queen. You know, she really the qualification, and she got herself into the main draw. Trust me. So, Stanley, I don't know what's going on here, girl, but you know what? You need to fix your life because your you fan. Know, he's completely. But you know that's how he rolls. You know, don't expect anything from him, and then he shows up. Ace is the final as that, <laughs> as we all know. Yeah. And then suddenly he's relevant, you know, for like two minutes. <laughs> exactly. You hate those motherfuckers who, who get zero for class participation and they show up and ace the fucking finals. Get out of here, bitches. Get out of here. Yeah. But that stands. But, I mean, but you know what? But based that on match, that match, I mean, like, mm. we can now conclude that something's wrong with Nole. For real. For real. And it's worse than we would have ever imagined. I mean, worse. We, much worse. You know my rule, right? When you're in a funk, it ain't nothing you want more than seeing your pigeon across the net. Damn, skip Nothing me. gets you better. Your pigeon is across the net. Ask Serena. You know? <laughs> Ask, Ask, Ask Rafa when he sees Fed. Ask <laughs> Rafa. Right? I'm telling you, your mojo is going south. <laughs> and then <laughs> Ask Roger when he sees Andy Roddick. No T, no T. Let's see 100 about that. Or everybody that. else. Or everybody else, really. Yeah, for Rafa for a while. Roger, yeah. Fed's like, Fed like I play for real? I can get up for this match. Exactly. The Spanish <laughs> armada except the flagship. Exactly. Better <laughs> own that whole, but that whole mean, ship. I was like, what? He about to get big up? Uh-uh. Man. But you know what? Oh, he looks so his, out of sorts. His movement exposed. And oh just God. his 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 fail his he did not look willing to stay in any rally. No, it was back he, to old Nove when Novak when he would like bail out with like a drop shot. He's like, I'm done. Yeah. Thanks. or when he yeah. would just retire because <laughs> he had a but hangnail. Uh, but apparently, you know, I thought that would have been an option. But since somebody was checking for K and Ranich, you were just saying, uh-uh, oh I can't, I can't get my name training for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
week. But you know what? K was dumb. <laughs> I said K. You know what? K was like. You know what? K. K had flashbacks of his last match with Novak on Clay, which was in Rome. Remember? And Clay was like, "I can't do it." Remember that match was long. <laughs> shit. I can't do it. I can't yeah, do why it. Why waste my time? And he, and he was having triggered. You know, he was being triggered. So he's like, I, he saw Novak. He's like, "I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready." Mm. He had a case Which of you, PTSD. <laughs> withdrew from that match, and then you know he showed up looking the next day, going, "What? What? <laughs> that could have been me. That could have been me. It might have been a better match." What's, funny, what's maybe, crazy? Is that, maybe. So I saw when K retired, I saw the message, but didn't see the name on the play, and I said, "This sounds like K. I bet you any money, it's K." <laughs> I bet you this is K. Oh and I God. just kept on scrolling and sure enough, it was K. K, Listen, maybe you need that new technique looking off because I don't know what the fuck is wrong with your wrist. Your wrist be coming you know up what? as the issue. That's dodgy. Between knees and a wrist issue, you do not want a wrist issue. It ruins You're careers. Fucked. That ruins careers. Yeah, so yeah. You better make Hair's sure that trying to, Hair is on dream trying to give a participation trophy to K. But look, K, you better come to the quarterfinals or better. <laughs> K, I expect a quarterfinals or better. Or your name will be stricken from my lips <laughs> until the US Open. Uh-oh. Nobody check it for you, bitch. It's time well, yeah, to I mean, put up or shut up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, 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 but seriously, yeah, K, I mean, let's. That moment. Did everybody watch that match? I did. I, did. I, I skipped the gym to Couldn't watch that fucking it. match. I was dumbfounded that because was cool, listen, Rafa, Rafa came to play. He's like, I'm not yep. fucking around. He wanted it. And it was obvious. Yep. And that's all fine and well. And he got his win over Novak for the first time in 11 billion years. I get it. <laughs> get the significance of that for him. But the flip side of that, open up Tony. Tony's in the comment section. Bitch, you fall. Bitch, you wrong. <laughs> last time he beat him was 2013, and it's only a seven match losing streak. Get your shit straight. It was a 15, I mean, it, it was a been like decades. Set. It was a 15 yeah. set losing streak. He hadn't streak. even gotten a fucking set. But it was more significant to see how poorly Novak played. Novak played. Yeah. I mean, anybody could have whooped Novak's ass like Rafa did that day because he just looked completely disengaged at times. And at times he mm-hmm. looked like he was trying so fucking hard and it just wasn't happening. Like, oh, my God, why isn't this working? You could see the thoughts going across his face like this. I don't understand what's going on. It shouldn't be this hard. He's like, it shouldn't be yeah. this hard. But you I mean, know, you what could see. You could see him off. When the hell do we see Novak off balance? Mr. fucking always Gumby? Off. But you know what? He is. He, But he always turns it around to his advantage. Because that's one of the things I noticed about him. He, especially that's what I was about to say. He'll actually. be slip and fall and go all crazy. But he'll do the Matrix shit. He could yeah, not. Well, Anytime he there was a long rally, there'd be two or three slips in the middle of the rally. I was like, what the he fuck? He could is not channel all his inner Neo nope. during that match. Mm-mm. He got the bootleg version. I'm I mean, telling you. It was you. so Mm-mm. bad. It was so bad. It was just it was worse I than really... pre-2011 Nole. Yeah, I think 2011 it was... Nole at least tried. He was trying hard. Well, I think he was trying and he just couldn't. Yeah. His stroke I think looked... he looks he which looks is... thinner, which yeah. I didn't say anything publicly, but then I kept seeing it on my Twitter timeline. Is Novak lost weight? Has he lost weight? I think he's lost Girl, weight. The, the it looked hard. like you gotta eat. Bread, got a piece of bread. Well, it looked like he was like playing through quicksand at times. It looked like yeah. he was just trying to hit the ball so hard. And then when his racket actually made that connection, there wasn't shit on it. He yeah. was moonballing. I know. When the <laughs> fuck do we see Nolan moonballing? It was like he just was like, I gotta try anything here because nothing is working. Listen, yeah. Nole fam, somebody better go get your boy. <laughs> I feed him a piece of bread. God Shit damn it! Shit is bad. Shit is Captain way bad. bad. Well, you know what? I mean, I, I. But now, realistically, for a while, I think in the post press conference, you know, before Novak was kind of keeping his options open, like it, it didn't seem like he was interested in adding anyone to his team. But immediately, he was start. He was he was talking about that with the quickness. You know, he was like maybe three to four weeks. Sorry, phone ringing. Um. I guess she's I mean, gonna answer 
you all you're talking about um body i mean his movement and his position it's true i mean like he did look discombobulated which is what nola usually does but as Andre said, he usually is able to make that happen but he was he's usually when he makes actual contact with the ball he's usually has perfect stroke yeah but he looked like he was, was almost just, flick. He looked like he was drowning. Like, he looked like he was drowning in air, basically. I was just saying, yeah. girl. And there'd be a few he classic no lay hits. And then he would get like right. a win out of it. But he couldn't. But then it was like he couldn't would do maintain. what he needed to do. Yeah, he couldn't but, maintain. And then it almost seemed like he was like, wow, I'm going to have to keep playing like that. Which you know, you know, the the one thing I I mean, the one thing I appreciate about Rafael matches is that, first of all, Novak wins them. And then second of all, <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's the only value to those matches for me is that Novak really wins them. And usually, you know, I don't like their brand of tennis, but if you have to watch their brand of tennis that they play together, then you got to be fully committed because that's the thing with, I mean, cause even that match is over in what, 90 minutes, those matches go two, three hours. hours. Loose. I mean, right. It, it, especially the, uh, the masters ones, they're fucking long mm -hmm. because the rallies go forever. But I swear. Novak looked uninterested anytime it went above a few strokes. He was like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> but, you know, but you know what's funny? This look like, I would have to say that Rafa always shows up for the Nole matches. He always. He always tries, yeah. The fact, the fact of the matter is wasn't really effective for the last couple of years. Yeah, but last try what, hard. Did this match look like how it looked last year while they were in Rome. Yeah. Where all of, and all of Djokovic's ball, will land in Sean in the box, like how and um, Diva Dao balls will land in Sean in the box. And Diva yeah. Dao was just picking his spot. Yeah, and he, he was just running. He, he was mm -hmm. wherever he wanted to, running him ragged. In fact, even what was even so, because I think one of the things Raja exposed of Rafa this year was his backhand side. Yeah, Keep going to the backhand and then go down for the forehand and he won't be able to get it. That didn't even work for Nola this, um, this time around. Nothing. But you know, Absolutely all I have to nothing. say as a Federer fan, where the fuck has this no lay been? I needed this no lay for the last two years. What the right? fuck? <laughs> but here is an interest. Here is something. Here is something sweet for the kids. Something sweet for the kids. And by kids, I mean the no lay fam. Here is a possible theory. Just putting it out there because you know I'm the crackpot here. How about if no lay is doing research here? He's just assessing the possibilities of like, look, let me see what this 2.0. And um, leave it out. What? Let me see what he got. And maybe next time around when they meet, it's going to be a different story. Because this is, we know Djokovic is able, is, is capable, does this all the time. He loses to Federer at a silly match. And then he shows up at the majors. And he's just like, look. You know what? I would this. buy that. I would buy that. Because usually I would buy that, but I don't buy it this time. And I'll tell you why. The reason okay. why I don't buy it is because usually when he loses to Federer, it's because Federer has tried something new and he's just adjusting to it. Rafa didn't okay. try anything new. Rafa was still doing the same shots he's always done with Novak. Do you know what I mean? It mm -hmm. was just amazing. Like, I didn't think that Rafa, I mean, okay, maybe his, his serve was like, what? it's not, it's still not 2010 Rafa serve, mm -mm. that mythical serve. You know, um, he still had like he still hit balls short occasionally. I mean, he well, yes, he definitely anticipated where Novak was going, but he's he knows Novak's game style. So it's like I can't say it's that his, I thought that but Rafa, just all amped up. Yeah, like I can't say that Rafa was actually attempting new things on the court. I didn't see that. No. Did you did you see any new things? Like was he serving and volleying? Was he nope. like trying to um, end balls and I'll end shots you, faster? I'll, I'll tell Nothing. you what new thing I saw. He be, he breadstick that bitch. That's what I saw. Was definitely <laughs> 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 but, but, and, like, you know, the you know, thing I loved about I mean, it though was everyone was like, "Oh my God, Rafa's working. Rafa worked uh, hard. He persevered and he changed his game." Not like, really. Rafa didn't no. change no game. Rafa he came out there like, <laughs> no, Rafa that's came just like a bro. Work. You know, Rafa came out there like a bro. You know those bro who bitches like, "Bitch, I'm gonna fuck you. Take it in the mouth. Take it in the mouth. Take it, bitch." Oh my! Not here, oh, no, no, no. I mean, it, it was nasty. It was fun <laughs> laughing. It was nasty. Well, you know, it fan, was like the first. Only fan. I, I have to, go I have get to say, Rafa. Boy. Rafa had a good time. I whatever whoever was with Rafa that night, he must have been feeling himself oh, because yeah. there is nothing like turning around a head to head like that. Mm, Woo! I'm telling you, Hot you know, head. it was like the first or second point of the match. Rafa was yeah. at the net, and he went straight at Novak. 
and Novak dodged the ball, was, look, and I thought, it's on. Well, you know what? And the, the weird thing, though, the weird thing in this rivalry is when one person is on and the other doesn't care. Because as, as amped as Rafa was, <laughs> it was also in contrast <laughs> to when Novak I could care. But see, exactly. I didn't see it that way. I didn't. I didn't. It feel was like, like he didn't care. Get the I thought he up. was trying to care, and he couldn't. Well, but I mean, like, he, this, but I we, we have seen this despondent Novak all year long, right? This is yeah. nothing new. This is like Novak been, been like all year long. Just I give think the shit. match today with Dominic was much more telling than the match with Novak. That's just my opinion. Well, it's true. I mean, Dominic won more won more games in the first set than Novak did in town match. So, but not even that. I mean, just you know, everybody wants to say, "Oh, Rafa's back" and whatnot, but you don't get to say that a player is back when the opponent is shit. Like, you just don't. You don't understand Stanism, do you? You don't understand how Stanism work, right? They don't give a shit. Okay, they just like, their boy has a win is a win is a win. And their boy has vanquished an enemy, and that's how little of the narrative and the cute narrative. They just can't accept. Well, you know what? Because that doesn't sell papers, right? It doesn't sell papers and tweets and retweets and all that bullshit to say, you know, Novak, you know, was look disinterested in the match, et cetera, et cetera, and you know, Rafa just snuck in a win. Nope. It's all better to hype it up and say this was a beat down, which it was. You know, about the other boys back. You know, like oh, look out for the French and whatever the case may be. Because I don't understand this. Does Rafa ever show up at the French not being the favorite? No. Even when he wasn't Never. there. In right. 2004, Rafa was the favorite when he broke his arm or something. <laughs> he and he wasn't even there. So, what are you talking about? No, in 2004, he was supposed to be there, but something happened to him. I think he got injured. And then he showed up the next year and then won it. Beating Federer in the semifinals. Okay. Um, I think that was probably the first time they've played, if I'm not mistaken. Um, So... I don't know. And, well, that means, you know, like you said, Andre, you know, we got to give it up to Diva Dow. He showed up. He won the title because they would have dragged his ass if he didn't win any of these click title. And he I was so three. ready to drag his ass today. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Because, because, you know, again, you don't get to get all excited about him win winning against Novak when Novak looked like a junior level tour player. So if he would have lost against Dominic today, I was so ready for it. Actually, you know, I'm kind of happy. Ready. I'm kind of happy that Dominic didn't win the match, yeah. and I really like the fact that Dominic looked like somebody pissed in his conflicts, because usually he's always this. I'm happy to be here, kind of look with his crabby eyes, but this time around, he showed up in that finals, really thinking that he could have won that match. Yeah, and that look when he got whatever bullshit trophy they gave him, a runner-up trophy, uh, Madrid again. That fucking spike dildo, it ain't cute. It's stupid. Get the fuck away from it, okay? Stop that shit. Yeah. Let's put it out there again. But um, he dominate team definitely look pissed. So I'm hoping that he's gonna manage his schedule. But you don't need to play Rome. Spark under his ass. You don't need to play Rome. I don't think you need to play Rome. But you know you're gonna show up and you because apparently you're in some crazy debt and you gotta pay off somebody. You know I can understand that. But I'm expecting you to do good thing in French in France because I think you might you're defending semifinal points if I'm not mistaken. So let's see if you can make it to the final and play Federer. Just oh my God, you're a mess. I'm, putting, I'm not, I'm not I'm even making that the claim. Universe. Why are you I'm making that out claim? Out are you even certain Federer is playing? <laughs> well, if he is, if he is, you know, if he is. But if he's not, I'm going to go out on a limb. I would like TFO to be in the finals, but that's not going to happen. So oh I would like a, I would like a K versus Dominic team semifinals and a Gregor. Why? So someone can get a walkover when K withdraws? <laughs> <laughs> I think if K sees a, a major in the final is Dominic team across the net right here, K Whatever. would bandage up that wrist. You know, hopefully. I would love to believe that. I didn't get a what chance to they... watch the final. So was Dominic and team respectable? Yes. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, like, he played pretty well. He I mean, he had well. an early break in the first set. He uh, had a 3-1. He had his chances. Um, he, he played well. Chances. There were many times where Dominic team Rafa Rafa, which was interesting. Um, I mean, it was a good match. Well, mm -hmm. listen, let me 
it was a good first set. I went to bed mm. after that. Dominic, I, I knew he <laughs> needed to win that first set in order to have any type of a chance to yeah. win that match. And I was tired in set one, went by the wayside. So I took a nap. I don't know how it actually ended. Six full. Other Leave than Rafa out. had a um, win, but. But I would say that, you know, Dominic, it was a lot better than Barcelona. <laughs> a lot better. Um, and it might be the fact that we're playing in Madrid, right? And it's very weird. It's a dirt, it's a dusty hard code, if you ask me, in Madrid. Mm -hmm. So hopefully um Dominic team gets it left to get into really good things. But but uh, anyway, a good run. Who cares? Um so let's yeah. talk about the women. Um <laughs> what happened with the ladies? <laughs> oh wow. Wow. Mm -mm. Listen. <laughs> I don't people, know. People are gonna accuse us of being a feminist podcast. I'm just putting it out there, okay? Just letting you know that, okay? <laughs> I mean, once you got over the rest, I mean, really, who cares? I mean, the rest. I mean, like, I don't who, even know what happened with. I don't know what happened with the ladies' tennis, but I know Kiki is popping off at the mouth again, and I fucking well, love it. Well, before we even get to Kiki popping off at the mouth, let's which, just... by the way, Kiki, Kiki just apparently a column Kiki wrote just dropped, and I'm already, I'm already like, I'm already gonna love it because I, I can't wait to wa read it. Well, let, before we go anyway, <laughs> let's just give it up to the one and only slip and fall Jeannie Bouchard. For putting her mouth where her putting her money where her mouth is, and yeah, that's she, hard to do. There's a song you know in what um, she did? this. Is what she did <laughs> to Maria, she took the court and she's like, You know what? I'm sick of you. You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there is, I, I don't, she says, Sit down. <laughs> there is a clip, there is a clip from um, Kimmy Schmidt, whatever that Netflix thing is. And, and there's a song that was just like, I beat that bitch with a bat. I beat that bitch with a bat. And I swear to God, look, I have never seen Jeannie. Is that what was on replay in your mind? In my mind, I was just like, I beat that bitch with a bat. Look, <laughs> Jeannie Bouchard came out there and she held it down. First time Jeannie won three matches in a row, if I'm not mistaken, anyway, right? For a long whatever, time. God, I hope whatever, she doesn't fall into that, the Muguruza. Right. Whatever rage you need. Whatever I mean, rage you need. Talking about Mugaruta, she won more matches than Mugaruta, okay? <laughs> in full tournaments. Let's just put that out there. And look, I watched the match while I was at work. My boss <laughs> would not know anything. And let me tell you something. Jeannie was in it to win it. From I've never day seen one. Her, she, from, from the minute that ball, but she was ready. She was ready. And Jeannie... I know righteous indignation is really good, but you know, like Bellatrix Lestrange says, you know, righteous indignation is not gonna work. Okay, you need to mean it. You need to be even. If you really want to get back on top of the toe, girl, you can't always have Maria, you know, pin doll, push pin, you know, in your mind. And the way you were playing her movement, and Jeannie is a tiny girl, yeah. And Maria is a giant compared to Jeannie, but Jeannie was hanging into those rallies, and she was whatever. And let me just say. Um, Maria, you ain't do shit in that off season, okay? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you were doping. In, in, in your doping records, you didn't do shit. You she just, didn't she just do maintained, shit. She just maintained her fitness. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't want a new thing because I'm telling you, Jeannie read every single play you were going to put out there. She took a break in the second set. And Jeannie, girl, ATP does it all the time, girl. I salute you. <laughs> Take a break in the second set. You snatch that first set, and then that bitch is gonna run out. It's like, why kill yourself in the second set? You need that energy for the third set. Let her have the second set. And I'm telling you, every time Maria broke in the third set, Jeannie was in it. And, and, and again, when the pressure is on, Maria serve is janky and shaky all the fucking place. And this was where Meldonium played a part. Oh. So you bitches come out here and try to tell me that she wasn't doping? Because <laughs> y'all know Maria was not losing these matches while my donor was on her was on her menu. So whatever replacement she got, and it's clear, like I said, you know, Meldonia was definitely a mental thing too. <laughs> it's definitely something she believed she needed to have. Yeah. As she's the only one who got caught using Meldonium last year. Shows. But um Jeannie, it was a very good match. Jeannie was in all the rallies. She was it wasn't particularly, slide, she was it even wasn't going particularly for pretty, though, but it was very dramatic. Right, but I mean, M Maria isn't going to give you pretty tennis. Is it? She's well, not neither, going to give neither you is Jeannie. Neither is Jeannie, but it was neither neither had Jeannie. a lot of She had those ugly yeah. strokes and whatnot. But 
she she had a claim what what I really appreciate about Jeannie's game in this match, you know, and and to be honest, Jeannie girl, you ain't been around for me to see you play. Putting <laughs> it out there. But she she was very she had a game plan and she stuck to it and she was very clear as to what she wanted to do out there. And Maria, if you can't get rid of Maria, you're a giant compared to a little um hobbit that Jeannie is. If you can't move the ball side to side and have Jeannie run, if Jeannie could get a racket on the ball, <laughs> I mean like Jeannie has one half of the battle out there. She's done. She, she's done half of what she needed to do already. Just being able to put the racket on most of Maria Ball, and she did that. And it was a really, and I was happy that she not only beat Maria, but she won the next match. Yeah, that's always and then, harder. It's always hard. And then Jeannie, and then Janina's Feta. girl, Feta rolled up up in the ambulance like, pitch. Don't you touch my comrade. Don't you dare touch my comrade. <laughs> yeah. you know? and Listen. She then turned around and she was just like, I beat that bitch with a bat. I beat that. <laughs> 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 and then she showed up in the semifinals and then she got beat with a bat by Kiki. Yeah. Kiki understood so, that game. Yeah. yeah. Kiki was just like, you know, a, a fr uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend. So she was just like, Jeannie, I got this for you. Allez Francais, you know, she did it for the French girl. But uh, Madrid was kind of like, let me just see, um, almost in the first day of Madrid, literally top five nearly washed out, right? Yeah. <laughs> they all went home. Um, Pl Pliskova went home. Moroza went home. No surprise, you know. Um, what's her name? Angie almost went home all in and she kept it up. She kept it up for a little bit and then she got sent home. Look. But you know what? This, just was, this was about. Go talk about who. Oh, I was about to say, you know, like, let's spare a little few minutes to discuss that these number ones. <laughs> Murray? Yeah, number one I mean, did Murray yeah. actually say, I have no idea how I lost to Borna Chorich? Yeah. Those which words which, came out which, of his mouth. Which is exactly what you should say anytime you lose to Borna Chorich. You really should. You really should say <laughs> exactly. that yourself. You say like, it out loud. <laughs> yes. Well, because, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> Borna Chorich doesn't have a forehand. And, and, he's how gonna, and how are you going to lose to Borna Chorich you on clay? In straight sets, if you're Andy Murray, of course he was puzzled. He's like, "How the hell did I lose that match? Like, what was <laughs> I even doing out there? I was confused. I didn't know what the hell I was doing." Borna Chorich should not but be handed uh, Andy, Andy. And this Murray is Borna Chorich second ass. lane over Andy Murray. <laughs> yes, That's I know. Of... I know. That's true. Weird. So, and Borna Chorich shouldn't have even been in the main draw because he's a lucky loser. Well, hey, you know what? That lucky loser he... always gives him a little bit of energy. Man. But you know, Borna Chorich is like a cheap man's. Novak Djokovic. And I mean, oh, a, really, a oh. really cheap guy's Novak Djokovic. Like, if you're taking your child to McDonald's cheap. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not even talking about me. And I don't even have feelings. But they're a little bit hurt. I mean, like, girl, explain yourself. <laughs> Border George to me. Is someone... the, most, the most important thing about Border George is, first of all, he's a try-harder. Always trying out there. And he's cute. Let's be 100. He's hot. And he thinks he's cute. And he does. He definitely he's pretty he's cute. cute. He definitely thinks he's cute. And he's always groaning on the court for some fashion, whether he's groaning in excitement or he's groaning because he's hurt. I mean, he already was hurt at the end of this match. <laughs> and I was like, Bona Church, can you hold your body together? I mean, Bona Church is the K of Croatia. So says the woman, says the woman <laughs> who be standing for K and Monfils, right? But you know why? Right? But you know why? Because at, because you know what? Because K prays. Kay plays pretty tennis. I don't know what kind of tennis Borna Church plays. <laughs> it's very effortful tennis. <laughs> effortful. You don't know sleep at your job. You don't know sleep at a job who are always busy. That's and you know, like, they always have shit going on in there. <laughs> you know, I was pushing people everywhere. And they'd be like, girl, I got so much work to do today. <laughs> oh, man. I got so much shit. I'm on a deadline. Exactly. And then when you see their actual productivity, be like, <laughs> That's Borna George. <laughs> Borna is always working hard. Hardly working. Working hard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But he, he's extra. He's really extra out there. But Borna George is going to be in Milan, if I'm not mistaken, right? You know what? Most likely. He's under 21, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he isn't, Nick, isn't, isn't Nick eligible for that? You oh, know what? Too Nick, high up the Nick, Nick, no, you know, Nick could be as well because Nick is actually under 21. It's 21 and under. So 
I mean, Nick has got a real strong possibility because I, I think Nick is just 21. So I think he actually... There might be probably, a cutoff period in the ranking, maybe. If, if, I hope so. Be. I mean, I, I, I'd rather but him no, be in London isn't, than no. Milan. Isn't Zarev in that mix still? Yeah, Zarev yeah. is as well. Zarev is definitely in the mix. Yeah, so, because, there, so yeah. there is no cutoff, whatever. Nick probably be like, I miss me that bullshit. <laughs> I ain't trying to play in the kiddies pool, okay? I sit <laughs> at the big boy's <laughs> table. He's 22, so he won't be there. Oh, yeah, Nick is 22. Oh, Nick he's is 22? 22. Oh, yeah, yeah I so thought he was. I just looked it up. Yeah, oh, so he's, like, oh, look at Janine. He, he's he's yeah, going to be in London. Yeah. He's, he's trying be for the big boy. Foil. Yeah. Looking for the big boy. I'm yeah, good, here good on you, Nicholas. Good on you. Which, by the way, I mean, let's be honest. Okay, so both people who are kind of showing themselves this season. Oh, we just slipped right back into the men. Sorry, we're gonna go right back to the ladies. Um, so the other th the other player that was interesting though was um, it was Simona. Is it because it was a Romanian guy? Oh, before this tournament. That's okay. That so I don't know, but apparently, wait, wait, she... before we before before we get there, let me. What I just want to put one thing out there. Um. Let me just say, if Nick shows up in London, get ready for a good old time. Because oh, yeah. I'm telling you, the crowd loves Nicholas. <laughs> because I'm telling you, no one was watching that Sharp over Bouchard match. They I weren't. <laughs> they were watching Nick. Just put, they I were even showing up great. for doubles, too. And it's Jack I love that. Partner. So just put it out there, okay? So people, European Nick, Nick stomach company. a lot. Yak could stomach a lot, okay? Just put it out there, okay? Although, but I back mean... To Although Madrid, my Madrid crowd, I don't think you, I don't think they show up for anything that women do. Uh, let's just be on on sure, hundred right there. It's hard. Sure. Uh, they put they put Sharapova up there, and people could care less. So, um, yeah, it's a hard it's a hard tournament for women. But yeah, so what's going on? You were making you were about to uh, maybe Madrid M M Madrid is not interested in um uh, Spain, not interested in dopers who got caught. Oh no, uh, no, uh, uh, no. Uh, no. They don't. Um, they don't have morality <laughs> claims about doping in Spain. Come on, what are you? No, <laughs> they don't. They don't have any sympathy for dopers who get caught. Well, they don't like it when you get caught. You didn't dope right, girl. You didn't dope right. <laughs> Could have gone so, to Spain and got it and, done. And maybe, right. and maybe they didn't forget that little dig she was giving that diva doll. They were like, "Fuck you, bitch." Ain't nobody got time for you, Martha. Maybe. Ain't nobody got no math. No don't math. Tell, don't but tell back, Pova your secrets. That's all I'm gonna say. Because if shit goes down, <laughs> Pova's gonna throw you on the bus. And Kiki, <laughs> and don't tell Kiki shit either. <laughs> but let's get on to Simona. Well, I mean, I have to say, I mean, like you know, sound effect. You know, if we could give sound effect, we'd be like, yay, chit chat for Good Simona. Good for her. Good for her. For um, getting her life together, because you know, like I was saying last week, a bitch would trip over a toothpick, but you know, what? she was just like, fuck you, reels, and shut the fuck up. <laughs> I but want Madrid again. She us all of. <laughs> she and Darren have split. I, you know what? She no, for a little bit. That, no, uh, temporarily. Because you know what? You know what? Because she took too much of Darren inside of her. Too much. Too much information. I'm sorry. Did that sound weird? It did. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Explain yourself. Explain yourself. You know, she fell for the guru aspect. Everybody talks about Darren Cahill like he's the second coming. I think she did too. That is true. And so I think this, and I think I quote from her that said that, you know, without Darren, she feels a little bit, he's teaching her, like he's like, a, it's like he's teaching her like she's a baby. He's teaching her how to think on her own. So she can't call down her coach anymore so that she'll be ready for the slams. I, I, I think she called him do down that. in Madrid, didn't she? I'm no, sure she indicated. He was in the box. But then why is he temporarily? She said she is no, he was, mentally no, they, no, stronger. They were temporarily. They were they were temporarily split. She took a break. She said, you know, like it's not me. It's <laughs> yeah. not you. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> I need a break, Google. If I'm not mistaken, somebody yeah, can correct me. That's what she said, but she okay. took a break. Okay, and she just said, you know what? You need to get a fuck away from me. Okay, I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't doing the shit you were supposed to do. Okay, I don't want to hear any mumble jumble shit, whatever. And she had a long dark talk with her journal, and she put out a piece of paper, and then she came back all passive aggressive as shit, and she handed him a note and be like, "Look, this is exactly <laughs> what I want you to do. Okay, no more, no less. Anything else, any deviation from these number of things, you're gonna get the fuck out of here, and you know I'll shoot you as fuck up in the boot when I go in the, in front of the camera." Good for her, though. And she got her life together in Madrid. I'm not really a Simona she played person well. anymore, but... Yeah, Simona, and by the way, I don't like that skirt. 
I don't <laughs> like it. Mm-mm. When do you like anything so worth? <laughs> yeah. It looked it looked like it looked like a hand towel. Okay, you need a skirt with some pleats, a little frill, a little fluff, a little life. Mm-mm. It looked like you're running around in a, in a towel. No, I don't hate it. Get rid of it. No. Mm. But you Adidas. know what? She was she was moving better. Yeah, she was um, definitely. She was sliding on that clay like she know like we knew she could do. And she just seemed um she just seemed a little bit more assured of in her shots. That was that's that's the only I'm not a genius at this, but those are the pieces that I picked up. She was her. involved. She wasn't she didn't she didn't take a mental vacation. Yeah. She didn't. Um I her. think she she knew finally, you know, like she come out and she realized, you know what? <laughs> I'm the big bitch at this court. Exactly. I am the bitch at this court. Okay, Kiki, you could be running your mouth, but I'll be running my tennis. <laughs> and she, and that's the difference because I think sometimes Simona forgets that she's in the top. You know, like exactly. sometimes she she keep playing like she's still Retrieving. because Simona, yeah, Simona came up like you know the hard. Well, everyone in the world's hard, but you know Simona came up on a win streak when Simona exploded. You know, like she was just like steadily working. She's showing yeah. up week in week out at the tournaments and playing mm-hmm. her hard out. You know, like a, like how Kanta did, and you know, so she kind of still was. You know, she's still. It's like hmm. It's like she's still acting poor and forgot that she got money now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she realized, you know what? I got money. I'm in the top of here, you know, whatever. Yeah. I could, and, and then, you know what? Well, she like, has to believe it. that she belongs there. Yeah. And she has to do this week in, week out, because, I mean, really and truly, I mean, Mother Ruta is lost in the wilderness of the wilderness. Mm-hmm. Um, Andre is lost in the wilderness. Serena is prego. Um, and she was about, you know what? I'm not about to let Maria Sharpova roll up up in here with her doping ass and snatch everything. So, <laughs> Simona, I hope that is what your motivation factor is because it's not going to be a cute look for WT if I dope her to roll up off of a suspension, you know, and then show up and be winning shit, taking, snatching all these wigs. So, you ladies better step up. So, um, I was expected, I was excited. I mean, like, I was happy that she won it, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm kind of disappointed for Kiki. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. Kiki has been working really hard this year. And yet again, she showed up in a second big final and left empty-handed. And she was pissed. And when Kiki is pissed, Kiki is cursing every motherfucker out. You know, if he does <laughs> do something wrong in the past, watch out when Kiki loses the final, okay? Because she holding nothing back. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I, love love it. it. I know you love it. I know you Kiki love it. Is my new favorite bitch. She is. Well, you know what, Kiki? <laughs> listen, I love, I love somebody that has something to say and has something to do on the court, and she has both, and that is always no, fun I'm, for me. I am about that look. I know you're this not. Be- I know you're not real. Here, 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 I love it. We love a my trash talker. Here's my distinction with trash talking. Right? Okay. My thing is that I don't mind if you're talking. If you're being political and, you know, you're trying to change actual shit, you can talk as much as you want and I will be on your bandwagon, okay? And I would stand you no matter what, okay? Because you're trying to change real shit. But if you're going to be trash talking and you're losing, bitch, ain't nobody got time for you. Because you no, look like that. a big baby. Listen, Women she's, covers uh-uh. a multitude of sins. She's exposing okay? folks. And ain't nobody... Ain't nobody got time well, for I her mean, and Garcia B. Bitch, that is old. I, I, no, I like that it. Is old. I, 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 I don't mind her. I don't mind that you know part, what? but I do think that she's going to have to start winning something a little bit. Exactly. She's going to have to. And I tell you what, I know you Garcia could kick your fucking something. ass, and I know she would. Kiki, you better watch her. Garcia's going to kick your ass. She ain't fucking uh-huh. around with you because you're saying dirty shit. You were, you were kind of like a good friend. You were good Judy. Yes, and she didn't want to play with you no more, and she sent it by text. All right, girl. Then you know what? You don't reply to the text. You pick up the phone and tell her. You don't go in the press conference and say shit like that. And then call a girl and say, you know what? I mean, it's funny. It's cute. It's sexy. You know what? We love it. It's good for the kiki. But come on now. I like it. Mm-mm. Oh, I love it. See, this is why Kiki is so pissed off. So, I mean, I'm going to have to read her a column, her first column. Kiki has a column. For a Sports mm-hmm. 360, do which you know I don't you know I don't really listen read Sports <laughs> 360, but um, I might now. and I will because Kiki has a column and and, I, and somebody just tweeted it on my timeline. And I appreciate you doing that, someone. The one where Maria appears six times and ten years appears three times because Kiki's one of the few people who will acknowledge that Maria was taking that shit for ten years. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> and all of our results are dodgy. Listen, nobody wants to hear that, but I'm okay with y'all not wanting to hear that. But facts are facts, regardless of whether you care about them or not. So. <laughs> See, this is the thing that this is the thing I didn't like about this album. It's like there were undisputed facts in that whole fallout in Maria's shit, and nobody was talking about that. And thank Damn, you, Kiki, for the knowledge. <laughs> You see, that's what I'm going to be standing for Kiki, right? She's trying to change shit. She's trying to talk about injustice. But coming out with some cat number, Kiki. Can't be here for that all the time. But you know what? I got to say, Kiki, that was a good old day. Okay, girl, if we talk about a read, that was a good old-fashioned library is open read. Bitch, I speak five languages. Which one you want me to come at you in? That's and why really can't you said. get your high school diploma? Listen, I'm all for that. You know what? You're right. <laughs> you stand for that, Kiki. Tell these people to go get educated. Oh. Oh. Tell these people to go get educated. Serena, no, Serena and Venus Serena did it. Serena got 10. <laughs> Serena got 10 for her shade at Marie at, at Martina Hinge. That's a 10. <laughs> Kiki, you got a 9.5. Girl. That was good. Like, go that was educated, good. Fool. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Go I mean, like, you'd be shady as fuck. He keeps about to call people for what they are, and it I am well. here for but it. You know what? I am here to be for careful. it. When you get when you call people, you better be ready to be called. So I just need you to make sure you keep your shit tight, Kiki. Hey. <laughs> I'm here for your downfall as well. <laughs> I'm here for. I tell all. you, Kiki. Let's be 100, okay? <laughs> Don't some of those languages your parents taught you them? Okay, you didn't go to school and learn five languages. <laughs> it don't okay? matter. She's, it she's, don't matter. You, you didn't care. You know you her don't... brains work like that. <laughs> I love that. But you know what? It's so true. These people be doing like fucking like high school in the gym. Listen, a high school diploma is a good thing. You don't know how long tennis is gonna last. <laughs> you know, and there, there there is a story. There is a story. And let's not be. Let's not. Let me not just drag Kiki down this road. Because Kiki's not the first to say it. And it's not just Serena. Lindsay Davenport is alleged when she got her high school diploma. She came into the locker room and had that piece of paper and showed it to all the bitches up in there and be like, look, girl. <laughs> have you ever seen one of these before? <laughs> who can, who got one? <laughs> who can check me now? Okay, I can spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> and I can spell ace in your face. I got majors. <laughs> That's why Kiki can count from Mina. one to ten. That's why Kiki can count from one to ten. She's like, I know ten years when I smell it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. She just can't count, and she could count past three. Would you motherfuckers be like she was only doping for three months? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, three weeks. Or the fuck yeah, I want to say some shit. Thank you, Kiki, mm -hmm. for giving the ladies the lessons of the day, okay? <laughs> God, I'm telling you, when Caroline see your ass, girl, Bear, put your face up because I'm thinking, Caroline, girl, that deserves a slap. She ain't right. That's foul. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but it's foul. Just put it out there, okay? But, you know. But let's just say, I mean, again, you can't trust Kiki. Kiki, can, Kiki girl, you ain't got no friends on tour pretty soon. I, I don't, she don't need to have any friends. I don't need to trust her. I just, you know, <laughs> I, I like the gossip. I'm here for it. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Give me some popcorn. Right. I'm ready. <laughs> so what do we have but, to look you know, forward to? But before we get the girl, we gotta address the, 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 the issues of the day. There are two issues which might be I don't know if we can handle one. I mean, Bobby definitely should be interesting. You know, the W T put out a statement and it's always an event when W put out a statement, okay, Whatever. from Steve Simon. <laughs> <laughs> because I, look, I don't even care. They're usually silent and much matters. They're usually very silent and much matters. You know, Steve Simon didn't have time to tell us, but you know that why we still can't watch WTA matches unless you're looking for streaming. You know, Valley's in the stream, but he got time to be that. You know that there comes McNasty. Ilya Nasty came down and handed a, the trophy to Simona Halep. But Steve Boo Boo, um, first of all, that statement looked well prepared so that you both made a decision, I'm sure, middle of the week to put out that statement. Or should I say yesterday when Simona was showed up in the final. And let's be 100, um, Friday, sorry, because the final was yesterday. Um, Steve um, McNasty was there all week. He was there all week. <laughs> all week. In, in a part all of the they all why, they, why did he feel somebody must have pressured him to issue that statement because i was like why are you making a non-statement of a statement I was Listen, like, what? Exactly. Here's, here's the thing <laughs> you don't get to make a statement 
a formal fucking statement about someone inappropriately being around when this motherfucker has publicly degraded your number one player in the world and all you have to say is we're going to investigate <laughs> fuck you steve <laughs> fuck well, you. I, i'm not even I, I'm, I'm here not for that shit. no i don't i it just it doesn't add up you don't you don't get to pick your battles here you don't you look like an idiot but there, but you, but you see, but this is but, yeah, that's weird. I I totally get it. We we are making sense, but they're not about making sense. They're just there for the for the for the the show of it, the spectacularness of it, right? Because first of all, you said he's banned from all events. Motherfucker was there all week. You just got <laughs> mad when he give when he gives Simona the trophy. That's when you got not only taking away his not, credentials. Well, okay, he can buy a ticket, which you know damn well he didn't buy no fucking tickets. So his best bro owns the tournament. That's so yeah. galling, though. It was like a basically a few. Like you gonna ban him? Look, I'm gonna have him walk out there and give her the trophy. Exactly. You know what I mean? I mean, come I mean on. I'm talking about Madrid, boo. Boo, it ain't a Madrid. It's one fucking man. It's it's whatever his name, Tree Trash or whatever this his is name a is. Premier um, event. Teriyak. It's Tyria. <laughs> It it is a premier event, Madrid. and you've got somebody handing off a trophy to the winner who within the last what 30 days not even has managed to say racially insensitive things about your sexist, number one player of the world. you know sexist like pervy. Things. call your players bitches i mean you've managed to, <laughs> who the fuck gets ejected from a tennis tournament this shit doesn't happen in tennis that's huge it's like he committed a major technical foul <laughs> and all you're gonna do is put a out a little paragraph foul. online i Listen. i'm not buying it they're just do trying so. to save face but it looks really false and Be fake put your mouth where your money is okay if you want to be sure to show some shit be like look don't be like Madrid. It's Tyriac, okay? Because he invited love. It's just the way it is. Don't be trying to say back in Madrid tournament. If you're going to come off a fight, really show up who you really fight it. It's Tyriac. Tyriac invited him. Tyriac told him to go down there and give the trophy. He didn't just saunter on to the court. He didn't. Y'all knew he was going to do it because somebody got to make that announcement. They didn't just For show sure. up and be like, oh, and who's gonna present Simona with the trophy? We're gonna get someone from the audience. You there, pervy guy with the dodgy hair. Do you wanna come down <laughs> and give her the trophy? Oh, and you happen to no, but that didn't happen that way. Uh -uh. come on, Steve. <laughs> Steven, you ain't fooling anybody with your bullshit. And all you fucking bullshit journalists who's trying to praise and be like, boom, and all this shit. Have a fucking seat in the back because I ain't y'all can't tell me about morality, bitches, because y'all motherfuckers. Be standing for Pulver. So, y'all trying to have the moral majority and moral high ground here? No. We ain't trusting y'all with this bullshit. That shit was staged. It's fuckery. It's full of shit as hell. Get the fuck out of here, Steve, with that shit. And Simona, I'm just gonna come for you. You you be trying to be like, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know how I don't talk to a girl. Mm -mm. You gonna be in the corner in the locker room. Maybe I got time for you. You could have said something, but that's always you wondering anything because it's for Romania. Just saying, girl, when you had the opportunity to say something and make a stand and be really interesting, you decided to choose nothing nasty. So, girl, we, we ain't got time for you. Ain't nobody got time, time for you. this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was smiling. And I know that. you're going to be like, you know, like, oh, he's such a hero to all of us. Whatever. Come on. Uh, desperate. No. It's desperate. That's like when Trump <laughs> speaks in full sentences. Come on, people. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Like, come on. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, the standards that we have for people are so low. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> and it's always for men, right? Always for dodgy always. men. And it's always for old always guys. Always for dodgy old men. Guys. These old guys. Oh, my God. Guess what he did? He said, please. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He didn't try to touch her boob. Oh, my God. He didn't try he to touch my boob. Like he that. only put his hand on my thigh. It's okay. <laughs> He Come said on. I worked really hard. Okay, whatever. I was like, what? Come on. Normal thing. Normal, normal thing. Fuck out. Anywho, so in the uh, other, whatever. I guess the other major issue was on Twitter. Major. Was always, um, well, Twitter is always thing, you know, like apparently the WT insider, you know, <gasps> she got 
be the troll. I don't know what you call it. She got, I don't know, you got, you know, someone went up into her Twitter history and pulled out, you know, her making. Uh, let um, me just let, let me just come quick and tell you right now. Nobody deserves to have their Twitter history ripped up and tossed in front of their bosses. Who does that? Who is doing well, that? Well, we know who did it. <laughs> And it's not surprising. I tell you who did that. <laughs> Nobody by nature. That's his name is. I don't know. He blocked me because um, he said uh, I was nasty when he called Nick Curious brother a mongrel. When I called him out for saying Nick brother the mongrel. Oh, that guy. I'm just like the person yes, who does that. I don't know. Like he he accuses everyone else of the very thing he does, which I right. think is amazing. <laughs> I'm so like, listen. I saw. You know that what and surprised I was like, me? I'm not down for that at all. I'm mm-hmm. going to tell you what surprised me most of all of it. Nothing's. What was actually found in? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I mean, let's be. Let's give a little context. What was actually put up and someone tagged WT and noting that Courtney in 2010, if I'm not mistaken, a, a, a while ago had referred to Francesca Schiavone as tranny. And it wasn't like a, like, you know, uh, era, you you know, you can't edit Twitter. She referred to (laughs) the transsexual several times. Um, It was no mistake in that she was calling Francesca a transsexual. And, you know, this was the thing. And to top it off, several players, um, including, if I'm not mistaken, um, Miss Ali Bicorni. Um, put up a was just like, oh, did this happen? What's going on here? And this was, I think, in response, if I'm not mistaken, because Courtney de- previously tweeted, you know, like, oh, I have a message from Franny telling me that I'm cool or awesome or some thing. They did an nature. interview, and they did an interview, yeah. and she was like, she made some reference to Skiv. So somebody like, wanted, yeah, so somebody wanted to say, oh, she's cool now, but this is what you said before. That ain't All right. people. You know, so here's the thing for me. I'm not surprised because if you've been on Twitter long enough, you've seen how people have evolved. All right. Well, we'll put it that way. (laughs) I was surprised that that stuff was still there. I was surprised (laughs) that somebody in the upper echelon hadn't gone back and scrubbed that shit out because some of the stuff from her past is gone, but I'm thinking, why is this even still available? That's what I was thinking. I was like, somebody fucked up here because when, I, but then again, no, because I mean, we pull Trump tweets all the time, right? Nobody scrubbed his shit. So that's true. That's, that's well, what I, was surprising I, I, I to think me. There is a way to, ref- I think there is a way, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually, technically you can't delete anything once it's out there. So well, there is a way of get retrieving. It seemed pretty it. easy to get. Actually, I found bad. I found the whole thing bullying. To be honest, I thought it was bullying tactics. You know, listen, of Twitter. It was. Twitter is for you to engage with other people. If you come on someone's timeline and you attack them, like you're attacking. If you come on my timeline, I'm happen to be talking about something. That's it. That's your problem. You came on my timeline, but if I at you and I basically like send a series of tweets about you and i at you in them i'm attacking you like i don't and to other people, and to other people do that does that this what are you gonna do what are you gonna do what are you gonna do that's low rent it's low rent and tacky and you know we listen we here's the thing know, but when, when something like this happens mm-mm. it never looks good on anybody it just it just doesn't it doesn't look good for the person that it's happening to and it doesn't look good for the person that's doing it but i'm going to tell you I something know, it doesn't look good for the person who was about francesca schiavone Right. Well, but the person really, who I mean, it's really less about her because it's really about an interaction. I mean, yeah. why, why, is, why does Franny even care or is being policed in that way? I mean, at that True. point in time, she was a different, right. you know what I mean? It was a different scenario. Did they even know each other at that time? Anyway. No, I mean, listen, but and you shoot, you shoot off your mouth as a fan. You can, exactly. you know what I mean? You can go on and be a professional at your job. But the, but no, if you're going to do I, this, I, I, if, if I, you're going to be one to tell anyone they can't shoot off at the mouth because if you look at this, if you, I have a list. A Monica list <laughs> on my <laughs> on, on on the podcast, on the podcast, on the blog mm-hmm. of the players. Listen, and- here's this is what it comes down to. If you're gonna be the person that goes into attack mode, 
you better be fucking squeaky clean. This is like Rafa complaining about time violations against another player. It can't be you, dude. It can't be you because you are one of the biggest Twitter asshole personalities out there. You are always coming for people. You are always saying nasty things about people. Nasty, ugly, sexist racist shit about people and then you want to come for somebody shit don't work that way because you well, know it what Trump somebody gonna, these people are, well, <laughs> these people are based <laughs> i mean it would be much more genuine in seeming like it was coming like oh my gosh i didn't realize that that this person in this position had said these things if i could go through your timeline and and, and it'd be just squeaky clean you don't get to I, do this I, 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 this is a real issue or concern for you if it was like when and i don't think it was i mean i know you know i'm sure i'm gonna be, be probably if he tell him they would it's just not enough time anyhow but i mean yeah i do agree it, it does come across is bullying it doesn't and i mean like there was no there was no larger cost other than just getting this person fired or attempt to get this the, person fired yeah and it, it again if you had a larger goal and a context you're just i mean like yeah i mean like you want to say she's hypocritical go right ahead and say that but to add her boss and try to come up with this thing and then pull people into this thing it's just like right you know yeah it, but it, i don't it, even know why it became a topic for you like you just well i mean i think it's just not good twitter practice right because people are out there doing their trade doing what they want to do you can't be atting people <laughs> you can't be at well people. apparently you can because um, there is no uh, I, I, you. some players you, you can't tag rafa on twitter i've tried like you can't, <laughs> like you can't tag him in a <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, in terms of a photo, I ain't trying to send. What kind of message I gotta send to Rafa? That's smart, though. It's Hopefully. a good idea. It's a good like, idea to send him so that you can't be tagged. <laughs> oh shit! You can't tag certain people. Um, like in a photo, like you can say, "Oh, this person is here, this person is there." Well, whatever. If, I realized you know, that you was open. There is a saying, and I will leave it here: "Those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones." That's it. <laughs> but girl. I you, try you not know. to. It's, it's, it's so. 2017. It's 2017. You know, and I'm mm -hmm. telling you, you got you, you so. Come, I mean, like, guys, guess what next week is? Roland Rome. Garros. It's Rome. Oh, it's Rome. Rome. Rome is right now. So Rome, Rome. is is the true pre Roland Garros. Correct, I know, but it's also ladies. It's also ladies tennis. Is oh, Venus yes. back? We we we've forgotten our top six. <laughs> oh, no. yes. We have to do that next week. Yes, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it's oh ladies. It's, it's ladies. And then, night. It's, and then, and guess what? We got a we got a packed schedule. We're gonna be a hundred before we even know it. Damn. Next week, not not only is it like you know we're doing all ladies, you know, um, just like we do in Miami. It's gonna be the look at the girls in Rome, but um. We have our draw show coming up live. So we have like, so it's going to be insane. And I got to go because it's Mother's the Day and I got to go hang out with my mom. <laughs> priorities, priorities. Girl, check your life, okay? We'd be dragging Janine if we even trying to hang out with her child. And yo, know, you want to talk to your mother? You're not being breastfed. What are you doing? <laughs> very inconvenient about home, but I got to go talk to my mom. Oh my okay. God. Um, Happy so Mother's Day. Out there for the fans. Mother. Hey, mother, just putting out their fans. You know, just um, we come up with some ideas and shoot it to us. We'd love to hear what your ideas for theme for our draw show and what categories you'd like us to classify Tackle. the ladies um, come next week. Something like get your list mm -hmm. ready, people. Get your list. And. Anything else? It's your top actually, six. You could decide what you want for those top six. We still are working exactly. on it. <laughs> we have nothing it lewd out. and you know, nothing <laughs> lewd and you know, inappropriate or pornographic. <laughs> no, yeah, right. We'll save that. Save that for another time. We save that for the man only. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, looking forward to an exciting podcast next week, and I hope you enjoyed this one. And don't forget to comment below. And Congratulations check out the to YouTube the and iTunes. Winners. 
And congratulations to Diva Doll. Yes, you're the king of the clay. Whoop de do. And the world is brown <laughs> and not flat. And <laughs> Simona to has to decided to show up that one time, that one time for the year. She no, up she repeats. And she not repeats. only does she show up one time, she repeats as champion. That that ain't something yeah. people doing often. I'm Give it out. Lucius Baroni will see your ass. God, Serena, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's back. Everybody's back in Rome except for the Frenchies on the men's side. They're all gone. None of the guys. And Federer. <laughs> <laughs> and Federer has not yet made it public, made it clear, like definitive, that he's going to be in Paris. And he's waiting to see if Rafa. Why am I the only Rome. one that thinks he it has? Why am I confused on this issue? Why do I feel like he's already said I'm playing Roland Garros? I assume he. I assume by the fact that he didn't withdraw on the date he said he was going to withdraw, because he's usually pretty mindful. There's got to be a deadline date when I you. I thought withdraw, I saw right? an interview where so, he was like, "I'm playing." Oh well, Mary no, I don't, I don't see that interview. You might have dreamt it, honey. Well, some of his stands think that it's undecided, so I trust his stands because some of these motherfuckers be stalking Federer. Federer, I hope you got security. <laughs> Oh I hope you have security. <laughs> and let's just put it out there. I do not think Merka is pregnant, as everyone was trying to say she was. I don't, I don't think she is either, but she did look pregnant. M Merka, for Merka is a little thick -ums, okay? It was that's bad angle shots. You know what? She's had four babies come from her exactly. body. I guess that's what it is at the end woman of the day. Is not trying to do pregnancy oh, over the, again. Oh, She's the not. Warriors won. They're, the Warriors are here to ruin your Mother's Day. Ugh. Goodbye. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, <laughs> let me just put it out there. You know, I'm being a little kiki moment for you, Maya, just for big one of our biggest fans, Maya, and all of the real fans out there. We love you. It's the same. Maya, so you know we're talking shit about you, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Goodbye. With your Warriors fan. Goodbye. But you know what? They won. I told her it's game one. And I told her, just don't be worried. Just keep it. But anyway, thank you, fans. Love you. Go hang with your mothers and your children, people. <laughs> Take Bye. care, y'all. Bye-bye.